bit younger, I grew up surrounded by Finns because I grew up in a mission school and we had uh, Finnish teachers as uh, missionaries. Um, and uh, I was always hearing them talking um, in Finnish. And for some reasons, I did not even bother to, le to learn the language because I thought there would be no need. I will never go to Finland anyway. But today here I find myself in Turku. How I wish I had learned the language then. For me, it's, uh, the topic is a little bit difficult to present because when you look at uh, different countries and what they expect from ICT, I think the expectation is almost the same. So you sort of already know what it is that we expect uh, from ICT. And I think this makes it uh, a bit more challenging for me to present this topic to you today. But I thought, let me just tell you a little bit about Namibia, because a lot of people that are attending today are anyway <coughs> from the Future Technologies Department. So if I tell you about Namibia, some of the challenges that we are experiencing in Namibia, what we are trying to do with ICT in Namibia, hopefully you can from there see what the gaps are and how ICT could be applied to what we are experiencing in Namibia. And of course, uh, as Professor Sutinen indicated, uh, the purpose of my visit here was for us to see how we can collaborate and part of that includes the introduction of a, a postgraduate program in uh, data science, <laughs> which will be offered by the University of Turku, but to African students. It's not just Namibian students, it's, uh, it's going to be an international program. And of course, we are hoping that we will have some Finnish students from the University of Turku that are interested in doing this data science program in Namibia so that you can maybe even come and spend a few months in Namibia and uh, still come and continue with your studies here in Turku. I am looking forward to welcoming some of you to, to Namibia in this program. Vision 2030 is expecting us to produce world-class citizens, products and services by 2030 to ensure that we offer a prosperous livelihood to the people of Namibia. But when you look at that document, everything in that document is just ICT. ICT for effective government and service delivery. ICT for economic advancement. ICT for social progression. ICT for international relations and cooperations. So really, it is everything that we are, uh, are planning to do in the future. You can see that the underlying factor there is ICT. It is really now up to us as a university and the highest uh, uh, tertiary education in, in, uh, in the country to make sure that we train people that are able not only to design applications, to design interventions that are able to solve, this, to, to solve uh, uh, com computing problems, but people that are able to look at what it is that we have in the country and to translate it into, some, into making something that will be useful for all the citizens of, uh, of Namibia.